Hello, welcome to uh, another tutorial. Um, I am not Jab Hack Soul. That would be my son's uh, handle, I guess you'd say. Uh, I am his father. My name is Brian. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to make the Starship Enterprise because uh, Josh wanted me to do the audio on uh, this tutorial. So let's get started, shall we? by opening up the blender. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, get some backgrounds. Um, I downloaded some uh, images from the internet. And I'm going to set these up in uh, background images. Okay, there are all these TOS, they're original Star Trek Enterprise. Uh, there's five images. Okay, that's too big, so I'm going to scale this down. Right here, we're taking it down size to two. That means it's two times its size, I guess. Um, the offset, I'm moving it up. Y moves it up. So I'm going to put it up about round two. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little file folder here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the rest of these. There's all five of them. One, two, three, and four, and five. So, now I'll be able to fish through here and use these as my background reference images. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with this front view, and I'm going to base my. Uh, I'm going to start with the saucer section. Okay, now we're going to make. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with a uh, uh, <laughs> a uh, UV sphere. UV sphere. Uh, we're going to make us just leave it for the default settings and bring it up there to the bridge. And this is how I'm going to make my bridge. Uh, it's best if I can see through it, so I'm going to go to wireframe mode. And I'm going to scale it down. Here's the zoomed in view. It's not perfect, but as you can see, I'm going to match, I'm going to line it up here to the little dome on the top. And that's what I want, is just the little dome on the top. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tab into edit mode. And I'm going to select the um, vertices at the base of the sphere. These are the ones that aren't used, but I'm going to use them anyways. I'm going to hit P, and that'll separate those and make it a separate object, and then I'm going to flip that around 180 degrees on the Y axis. So I'm going to type Y and hit 180, and there we go. Now I'm going to have to scale it out because I'm going to make that little bottom dome out of this one. So it's like a dome stacked on top of another dome. Uh, we're going to scale it down. Um, there, um, I hit the Z control. Uh, I'm holding the Z down. Or I hit the Z. I'm squishing it down, and it looks about uh, probably drop it down a bit. Yeah, I'm going to go down Z. Uh, I hit G, Z, and then drag the dome down. Now, I've got a dome on top of another dome. Go to the top view here, and I hit B twice, and this gives me a circle instead of a square. The other one's a rectangle. If you hit B once for bounding box, and as you can see, you can select circles with this a lot better. Now, those are the verts that I'm going to pretty much get rid of. I don't need them. So they're gone. I'm going to grab these bottom ones. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to delete them. Delete the vertices. Now we've got pretty much a start to the top, the bridge of the Enterprise. Now this is a cylinder. I made a cylinder here. I'm going to drag that up. This is going to be our saucer section. You'll notice the saucer is more or less a pie, pie plate. That's too much, and I'm just going to go tip to tip right now. I'm not worried about too much about the height right now. Now I'll go ahead and scale the Z height only. And get it just about right. And basically, because this image is tilted, you're just going to have to do your best to guess. Do your best guess. As Spock said in the movie number four, he's going to take his best guess. Okay, so we've got uh, that done. Now we're going to grab these bottom verts and we're going to scale them in. 
until I get that angle that I want. I'm going to select the point on the top and I'm going to pull that point on the top up, Z. Subsurfing is going to mess you up so I'm just going to subdivide my model, my uh, saucer section. And the way I'm going to do that is in edit mode. I am going to select all my verts with A and then I am going to do W and subdivide and there you go. The top has got these rings on them with my circular selection tool. So I'm going to stretch this out using scale. Probably not the best approach since that's going to bring my top and bottom uh, yeah, that's going to do, yeah, okay, so I'm going to have to go Z and scale those back down flat. I want to take this um, line, this uh, top mid region here, and I'm going to select only these uh, verts uh, here. There we go. And I'm going to drag those down. And the top edge, as you can see, slopes up into a, a sloping dome. The bottom also has a dome on it down here. And I'm going to have to do that too. I want to select only this inner ring. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to very carefully go click, click. I'm going to scale that in. Whoops, I forgot about that center top piece there. And yeah, I'm going to have to drag that up. Ah, dang it. Okay. To air is human. Okay, drag this center point back up into my dome. Okay. That looks about right. Okay, now I want to select um, the bottom and drag that point down. That looks good. Now we're going to select um, with it at this angle. I'm going to shrink my tool with my scroll mouse and select all these verts in the center ring on the bottom because I want to drag the center ring down a bit. So Z again, grab that's G Z and pull with the mouse and about in there. Now I'm going to duplicate this uh, bridge. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to hit duplicate and drag it down Duplicate is Shift D, by the way. I'm going to rotate this around 180 uh, on the Y. So 180. Hit Enter. Okay, now just drag it back uh, up here to the bottom, and I'm going to I'm going to scale that out, uh, scale it down uh, Z, and then drag it <coughs> drag it back up and pop it right on there just like so. That's the bottom of the saucer section. I'm going to subdivide this. Um, I think that's a pretty good saucer. Okay, and um, I'll get back with you when I have some more time. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a uh, I'm going to save this as the saucer, and uh, I'll work on the body next.